So here we go. Again, I'm not expecting to make too, like a huge profit off this since I only paid 420, but hopefully at least like $50 profit. Here's the first shoe. Looks like size five youth. And some Jubilees. And these look brand new. Um, I don't think the grade school pairs for Jubilees I'm going for too much. And here you can see it, it is from him. No cap call. But yeah, I don't think grade school Jubilees are going for that much. I'll check right now, but if I had a guess, it'd be around 200. So these Jubilees, five youth on StockX. Lowest ask is 186, highest bids 160. Last sell was at 187, so I'll put in like 185 for these. So I'm at 185, I paid 420. So there's only one shoe left, so this last shoe has to be worth at around like 240 just to get my money back. So here it is, the box is pretty damaged all around. But it's a size 10 and a half, so let's see what it is. And some Jordan 5 Bel Airs. Bottoms are super yellow. Um, so you can see here the condition's not all that good. There's the creases. You see the toe area. So yeah, this isn't the best condition. I know brand new is going for a lot though, so hopefully, even though these are pretty worn out, I could get a decent amount off it. I don't know what's going on here. But yeah, let's look at let's look at the other shoe now. You see the creasing is just as bad. So I don't really know what to mark these at. I'm gonna see how much it's worth brand new, but as you can see creases and scuffs and yellowing on the bottoms. See I look up the market price right now, but that's the last shoe. Some Bel Airs size ten and a half. So these Jordan 5 Bel Airs, I'm, I'm looking at GOAT now for a used pair for a size 10 and a half. The lowest um, price is 190, but that's with no box. So uh, the lowest price with the box is 220. And you can see the condition on these. You can see the creases are kind of like mine too. And then the bottoms, th these are way more yellower than mine, but it's still super yellow. Hopefully that can I, I can ice that, but um, I don't know what happened here though. Like, I don't even know how that happens. But this isn't the best condition. I don't really know if I could get even 220 off this. Hopefully I can because on Go at least, I haven't checked StockX, but a brand new pair on Go goes for about around 563. Wait, let me look at the 10 and a half. So a 10 and a half on Go, brand new goes for 879. So obviously these aren't brand new, but even if they're used, since brand new is 879, hopefully I could get at least 220. But on StockX, the lowest ask for these is only 615, and the highest bid is only 433. So for these, I'm just going to put in the 220 since that's the lowest on GOAT used for with the OG box. So even with 220, that only adds up to $405, and I paid 420 for these. So it looks like for the Bel Airs, I'm going to have to try to sell it for around 250 to 300 in order to make profit off the box. But that's going to be the box, guys. This is a $420 mystery box from No Cap Cool. Let me know what you guys think of the box and leave it down in the comments below. Um, let me know what you guys think of the Bel Airs, how much I could possibly get it for. If you want to buy any of these, just DM me on my Instagram at jcresales559. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. I have more mystery boxes coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.